ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to ECW. My name is Joey Mild, alongside always Mars Freeway. Mars, good evening. Good evening, Joe. Great to be here tonight. And we're alongside our new broadcast partner, Travis Kever. Travis, good evening. Good evening. And we are ready for some action here in the ECW arena. Uh, we get ready for some exciting nights of exciting extreme tables, ladders, chairs, that anything you can think of really. We're going to kick things off straight away uh, as we wait for the competitors to come out as usual. They're going to take a little time because we're ECW. We don't like to be like them big guys who like to just take the f mick out of everyone. Here we go with ECW. It's the UK Kid versus Johnny Dreamer. And of course, 15 minutes is allowed to put somebody through a nice table. Maz, table action. This should be a very good one match. Uh, I'm very interested to see what Tommy or Johnny Dreamer can bring to this match. And hopefully we can have a great knockdown, drag out, bloody match here. And of course, remember to direct grapple through. Hold that A button. And uh, Travis, welcome. Yeah. Good to meet you. And, I've uh, always loved to be in a very, very straight wrestling show. Unlike other shows. Well, you've come to the wrong place. As uh, here comes uh, a competitor in the UK Kid. And of course, like to say as always, we've managed to get some ring entrances correct this week. Also, we've also got them some uh, good old uh, entrance music. And no fist for the fist in this week. I think we finally got some sponsors as we're able to pay for this shit. Well... We can always hope. Of course, the UK kid, we've seen him last week here in ECW. And, Maz, look at them tables, ready to be put through a body. Yeah, this is going to be a good, very interesting matchup between. Uh, and we've already lost Maz. Maz. I'm still here. Oh, Hello? I think your mic went out. We have cheap microphones in this I, company. I told you it's this damn arena we're in. <laughs> Can you get any cell reception? I've looked at my you phone all day. My back? Yeah, back. I've been trying all to. Right. I've been trying to get my phone all day. I've only had two bars, which is a bit strange. I've only got one on them. As a uh, darkness falls above the arena. I think we forgot to pay the light bill. No, no. You've just. This is the dead air time that we've got to fill. Oh. Building the excitement here for Johnny Dreamer. Johnny Dreamer. Look at them glasses. Hey, look at that can of soda. We can't afford beer, apparently. Uh, well, we got a bit told off last week after selling them on discount. <laughs> we had to sell. We can't even sell hot dogs for this week, for goodness sake. <laughs> and I like his t-shirt. Can I get one of those? Uh, no. Maz? Looks like, looks like a very good hardcore competitor ready to come out here to do some work. Well, he's got a cane. He's ready to cane someone. And UK Kid is in the firing line. Maz, tell everyone how you win this match. Well, you either got to take your opponent and set him up for a good finishing maneuver and set him right through that table and put him out. And for simpler reasons and for simpler people, Travis, tell them how to win this match. Put your opponent through the table. Thanks very much. <laughs> so, Dromi, uh, Dreamer, not, uh, what's his sec first name again? Johnny, that's him. Ready to do battle. Got to see a lot smaller crowd this week as we're here. I wonder how he's standing on that thing. Uh, don't ask me. Super glue, I guess. As a, uh, of course, your ring announcer for this one, Betty Davis. Uh, Got to change his name due to that uh, police activity. Maz. Yeah, hey, we're ready for this matchup here. It's going to be very interesting, and hopefully, we'll get to see some wood of flying. Well, here we go. 15 minute time limit as always for all matches here in ECW. If they don't put someone through a table in 15 minutes, we should get some other people down here just to put both of them through and show them how it's done. Can I volunteer? Uh, be my guest. As a technical wrestling. Look at this. We've, look at the, look at the signs on this ring. Got to see whoever does that. It's been absolutely amazing. Maz, do you know who that was? Oh, we got a lot of good work, uh, stage crew back there that are helping us out to try and bring us up to what we can be here in ECW. Yeah, we've got to get up to them standards. What standards? I know what you're saying. Oh, he has the table. He's got wood. 
He's got a lovely piece of wood on him. Oh no, but he's then he's been his, his wood's been stolen. And now, holy shit, Dreamer, going for the wood. UK kid into the table. Oh, smack bang. Oh uh oh, this could be it. I think this bingo hall has erupted. No, bingo hall, of course. Make sure you get your tickets for the intermission where you can win uh, $50 for a line. And if you get a full house, it's $2,000. Of course, we're here in New Hampshire. Wrestling community. Loving their action here. So respectful of their competitors. So, uh, UK UK kid able to reverse that. Yeah, UK kid. Going after Dreamer. Dreamer with a kick to the midsection. And throws him into the wrong corner, which is not always a good thing. And the fans shouting for tables. Which really, if they look in the opposite corner, they'll probably find one. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Nice kick there. Dreamer comes off the ropes. Oh, drops the big leg. Right across the face. Oh, no. UK kid having none of that. Surprisingly, Maz, the UK kid from the United Kingdom. Yeah, one of the only British talent we have here in ECW. Hopefully he can kind of show what the UK kid can do in here, and maybe he can prove us every, prove a lot of people wrong. Well, look at this, he's throwing Dreamer in. Oh! No, that does not count, ladies and gentlemen. That does not count as a win, because the UK kid stupidly put himself through the table and actually... Wasn't put through by Dreamer. So, oh, nice pile driver. But Dreamer dropping him right on the pieces. Yeah, no, you've got to put him through. You can't put him on the pieces. You've got to put him through the table. So wait, if you choose to put yourself one. through the table, does that count? You've got to put him through a table. And a uh, lovely Russian leg sweep by the Dreamer. Can I call him the Dreamer? Or can I just call him Dreamer? Call him what you like. I don't know. How would he have like? Well... Look at this. Oh, just drops him down. Needs to get another bit of wood, I think, coming to totally. And of course, the time I brought to you by Bisping Airways, bringing you to the heart of the action. And oh, drops him down with a nice valley driver. And I know he loves that leg drop, Maz. He yeah, is very efficient with doing those leg drops. Hopefully he can get out there and get a table and put him through an, uh, an actual table to finish off this match. Yeah, he's only got 11 and a half minutes. Oh, this As is... my old best friend used to say, get the tables. Well, I don't think he cares about getting... Oh, no, just as I say that, comes to the outside. That table, of course, used for Virgil when he's on his contract signings. Don't ask why to the table's here. Apparently, you, know, you understand he wasn't using them at the present time, so... Apparently there's more people around that table now than when Virgil's there. And but, don't uh, ask why we're using Virgil. I don't know. She's not coming here, I hope. And, well, this match continues on. As a UK kid again, it's just taking a bit of a pounding. Another pile driver. Well, you've got to see, guys, this is not happening for the UK kid in this one. Took a bit of a pound uh -oh. in last week. Uh oh, no! The thing you got to ask yourself, guys, why is Dreamer not putting him through, the, suplexing him through that table? I think he's just trying to wear him down to make sure he can get that right momentum to put him right through it. And another lovely, lovely version. Like oh, tables, sort of dented, uh, sort of like lost a bit of its uh, leg there. At least we were up here. Nope, missed again. I think we're all professionals here. At least we're not overly excited for a Russian leg sweep here. Well, very true. It's just a normal standard move. Why would anyone get excited? Just because everybody does it. Jesus Christ. And here he goes. Got to pay him, him up again. And drops him on his head for about the ninth time in this match. Billy is going to have more concussions than Dolph Ziggler. Either that or a broken neck. Yeah. Well, seeing that he could make win the Olympics. I don't know but that ended today. Ah. Oh. Damn. Damn it. I said, oh, kick to the gut. And that's a quite a big gut. A UK kid can aim for there. Oh, and then a kick back. Kick, kicks all around. I said, yeah, uh oh, here we go. This is what we want to see. We're setting him up. Where's he going? Top rope. Uh oh. Fly! Yes! 
Like there you go, ladies Last and gentlemen. Dream my wins. Dream my wins. Dream my wins. Listen to this crowd. They're chanting nothing. <laughs> Listen to this pre-recorded crowd. Go. Uh, yes, that's it. The match is over. And a big win for Dreamer on ECW. Maz, what excitement. Yeah, very impressive win for him. Uh, really shocked that he used that leg drop and was able to put the UK kid right through that table. Let's look at this again. Fine piece of art. Jumps. Bang. Oh, well, maybe not. I think he hurt himself when he landed. Well, you would too if you went through a table. And Dreamer there, shrugging off an invisible ref and telling everybody that he wins. Maz, big win for Dream on his debut here on ECW. Yeah, it's definitely going to put him up in the standings for possibly getting a title shot here in ECW. Well, let's find out as uh, he continues to uh, get a bit excited here, telling the crowd what to think. Your winner is Dreamer. UK kids still winless. And you're back here at ringside with me, Joey Mild, Maz Freeway, Travis Cover. Guys, talk us through that first match. What do you think about Dreamer? I thought that sure, was a lot. Amazing. One at a time. Was definitely a good match for him. There was definitely a good match for him. He definitely showed us a lot and was able to get a good, clean, decisive win over the UK kid. And it should propel him to possibly getting a shot at going against uh, Jay Masters eventually. Well, got to see it. What an opening contest that was. But now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up is going. We're going to have our fatal uh, three way match. And that is going to have. The Beast, uh, James, and of course, Della Rosa. And of course, was the Beast. Uh, definitely a beast. Yeah, he was definitely impressive last week. He put away his competitor really quick last week. I'd love to see great things from him. And nice to see that we're trying to use all the talent here on ECW and give them all a match every week. Yeah, we have a small roster here. Well, if that's what you want to call it, I call it very talented individuals. Very high class. Yeah, well, we're always looking to bring in some new fresh talent, so hopefully we can find some more people out there that want to come in here and test out their hardcore skills. Well, and I've got to say one thing to you, Maz. Maz. What's that, Maz? What's, what's up with that shirt? Uh, it's a little warm in here. I figured I'd cool off a little bit and relax here at ringside. I know, but there's cooling off <laughs> and showing your chest hair. Two different things, surely. I think he's acting like another Tom Selk impersonator. Who? Who the hell are you talking about? Anyway, Never let's mind. move on. Next match. Triple threat. Uh, fatal three-way. Extreme rules. Beast. James. Dalahosa. Let's go. Our first look at Alex Dalahosa here in ECW. You're actually, actually right, Ma Maz. Very anxious to see what he can do up against uh, Carl James and the Beast William Sykes. Well, this is going to be... We've seen the Beast last week. Indeed, Maz, we found out that he was uh, expelled from college because he mutilated three people. Just perfect for us here on ECW. Yeah, it definitely shows that he's got heart and he's going to go out there and give it his all. And Maz, why don't you talk about this guy? Carl James, nice young competitor. Hopefully he can kind of turn it up here in ECW and able to make a name for himself and possibly move on to bigger and better shows. And he did I take... I say he has amazing pants. Well, i got to say them tiger pants. Nelly's got his tiger feet. But hey, tiger pants Hopefully is a place to start. Hopefully he'll have the eye of the tiger tonight. Well, he went up against Goldust last week. And surely big competitors this week. The man... They call the James, ready for action. He told his nickname was Tiger Fever. Wow, well, we are ready to go for this one. And here is the beast. Maz, very impressive last week. Yeah, very good wrestling skills in ring and was able to put 
put away his opponent pretty quick, and hopefully we can see some good things out of him this uh, year in ECW. Well, I think someone just got kicked out of the arena. I do believe so as well. Obviously. Bunch of rowdy fans. Again, drinking too much. But hey, Beast, just get them sorted out. He'll sort them out. As he makes his way to the ring. Very, very confident looking fella. Definitely one person I would like to have on my side in a fight. Look at those biceps. Well, we're ready to go. Coming to the ring next will be Alex De La Rosa. First look at him. Well, let's see how good he is. Hopefully he can live up to the hype that he was building before coming here. Well, he's our only Mexican in ECW. Alex De La Rosa. Very cook oh my god. What the hell? Wait, you can afford this? Bloody you give him there pyro. There might be a pyro back there. Something might be catching fire. We better have someone check that out. Did someone not tell him we don't do pyro here in ECW? Goodness sake. Well, I gotta I see. One of the lighting might have caught fire up there. Somebody get a bloody extinguisher out there! And they're chanting for the wrong people in this arena. Goodness. Already causing controversy as he comes here. Yeah. Mexicans here in ECW. And they're up next in this fatal three way. Guys, who you got for this one? Who do you got, Trevor? Or Travis? It's Travis. Travis. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get his name one week. I'm going to go for Tiger, uh, tiger Fever. Tiger Fever. Fever. What the hell are you talking about? Are you on drugs, son? His name's Carl James. <laughs> Stop trying to do jokes. It's my, that's my gig. I Mas think I'm going to stick with the Beast. I think the Beast is going to lay waste to both of these guys and move on to possibly be a next ECW heavyweight champion. Well, I like this dude. I'm going to go for the Mexican. So we've at least got one for everyone in this one. Let's go Mexican. And remember, guys, Bisping Airways brings you 15 minute time clock as people just miss each other straight away. And the, and the beast as is in the ring. Hey, that guy's racist over there with the USA side. Why? How's he racist? When USA, they got damn it. We have a Mexican in the ring. And? If you... If he had an Iceland one, does it mean he wants to go shopping? No. He just wants to support his country. Look at this. There you go. Noggin' knocking from our Mexican friend. Our Mexicans. Remember, everybody loves a Mexican here. Apart from that guy with the US doesn't look like Carl. Doesn't look like Carl and the Beast aren't having, uh, taking a liking to him. Well, if you get Pyro, you're always going to pee off the uh, ECW roster as uh, the Beast goes on the attack. And of course, off everybody in ECW. Of course, attack is what uh, the Beast likes to do. And look, look at look at De La Rosa there, just on the outside. I think he's probably where this was. Oh, we're going to have some kendo sticks. It's a baseball oh, bat. Well, same thing. You can still <laughs> knock the wood out of someone. As uh, De La Rosa, like every Mexican, tries to sneak one. As uh, Trying to sneak across them borders. Yeah, hey, Travis Kevin knows all about them. And Zeb Coulter on that NXT. As De La Rosa. James, and De La Rosa again to the outside. Nope, to the inside again. Beast just clubbing away. It's not boxing, quit punching him. Well, as long as he knocks the bloody lights out of him. Oh, and he gets him there! Damn it. And the Beast wins. Time to, time to feed the Beast. And you've got to tell me, after it took all that time to set that match up, it, it lasted less than a minute and a half. Well, minute and 40. I'm telling you, this beast is one to watch here in ECW. Well, the beast wins, and the beast moves on. Uh, next week, he'll be in the number one contendership match. Good for him. Where, where's his teeth? My God, how ugly are them people? <laughs> Jesus. 
Someone, one of our three cameramen, look at decent looking people in this bloody arena. Or at least just not show the crowd. That's true. At least show them, not show the crowd. We better exit this match and go back to us at ringside. Hello again. My name's Joey Mild. I'm in the middle. Travis, uh, Maz is a bit hot still. And Travis Kever, nice tie. Thank you. Well, we're ready to go. It's Extreme Wheels Rules. And it is a Extreme 4-Way for the number one contendership match to face J Masters next week right here. Oh, it's not next week. There's a lie. There's a botch. It's, uh... We'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks! Because there's a bloody pay-per-view one. So we get kicked off the air. Typical. We should really move us to Saturday night or something like that. No. Ah, fair enough. NXT. Don't mind me. Maybe give us an earlier time slot. Do something. Just keep us on air. We need the money. Possibly get an earlier time slot or maybe move it to uh, another night. I think you have to speak but to anyway, that. You have to speak we to Hopefully we can bring in some more talent here so we can get some more matches going on. Are you still trying to advertise? Maz. Oh well, yeah, we're getting ready for the next matchup. It's going to be an event, yeah. Maz. Yeah, including what? RVD, Gold Dust. RVD just uh, signed back. We signed him. We yeah. got him. Yeah, it's good to see him back in ECW where he made his roots and hopefully he can bring that ECW style back to ECW. Help bring this brand up. Yeah. I think that's the reason why we're in debt right now. Well, that and along with the bloody pyro. What'd you expect? And all the and all the bingo giveaways. Well you've got a bit of bingo, it's in a bingo bloody hall. You know what I mean? What more do you want? You've gotta have you've gotta have the uh the big old, look at, I, I just can't get over that chest hair, Maz. The ladies must I go mad. Like call out, uh, there's about B4, it's the next number. B4? Oh, B, B4! Jesus, I've got a line! Yes! House! 50 pounds, 50 dollars, 50 dollars, yes! That'll get me a takeaway, McDonald's, surely. Make sure you come to, the, make sure you see somebody at the end of the show to get your winnings. Yeah! I, I bet you right there. Full house. Boom. Two thousand dollars. You've got you've got to have a full house. I've got a full line first. That doesn't make full line. A line. Let's not argue anyway. Let's just get on with this. Well, let's, let's also give thanks to the uh, Nightbot Nightbot Bingo Hall that has allowed us here to put on the ECW show. Uh, uh, and is this next match elimination? I can't remember. Yeah. Very ah. Four way elimination, yeah. from what I understand. Ah, thanks. RBD Gold Dust and uh, who were the other two? <laughs> Antoine Sanchez and uh, them four. John, Mar Morrison. John Morrison. John Morrison. Right? How can you forget him. about him? How can you forget about someone? John Morrison, the living legend himself. Let's go. Main event time. Thanks to 2K14. And remember, guys, if you want to have sex in a corner, make sure Darren Young's fine. <laughs> Totally unprofessional. What I meant to say was, press Y for an OMG moment. What an OMG moment that will be. Easy Dobby, so goddammit. I'm going to send us a sandwich. Could call it an Oreo, but backwards. Ah! I need to play his music. Don't mind me. Is that his music? Yeah, I've got his music. Oh, bloody hell! You would think he'd get some more music apart from his old days. I thought we couldn't afford it. No, no. Apparently, the money we saved on the fisting means we can get some uh, music this week. Don't, don't ask. Everybody loves the fisting. Well, they did last week. It was one of the popular comments on YouTube. Remember, you will see us on YouTube. And then I'll get copywritten again. Well, yes, of course. We should get copywritten, because there's nothing to believe copyright on this show. Well, that's the first one. Obviously, uh, Ma uh, Maz doesn't like uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Knight. I was going to say Johnny Knight, bro. John Morrison, I was just sitting back and enjoying that entrance. It was very, very nice. Oh, my God. What the hell's the matter with you? Very impressed. Very impressed Look by that Johnny Nitro. Or Johnny Morrison. Well, 
He has gold dust. My God, look at that towel on his head. I hear he's been kind of depressed since being canned and let loose from uh, NXT. Well, he's now on ECW. Someone told me his daddy shaved his head. Oh my God, you, you see, see, see the bloody cement he puts on his bloody face. Call himself a bloody wrestler. Hopefully he can turn that anger into aggression and really turn it up here and win this match and become the number one contender to go against Jay Masters. Of course, Jay Masters are your first ECW champion. Of course, next week's show, coming from Westminster, wherever that is. Get your tickets online at ecw.wiki.com. I was trying to advertise you, God damn it! Make sure you leave your dogs at home, too. Of course. Because some people like to judge. There. Coming up next. Competitor number three. Gotta feel dead air. Well, loads. <laughs> oh, here he is! Sanchez. Antonio, very impressive last week. Hopefully he can... Kind of get the win here against a couple of seasoned veterans. Change his sort of change his style for this week. I still love that jacket though. Did you know I actually made that for him? That wouldn't surprise us. Do a bit of sewing on your days off there, Travis. Uh, yes. Got to tell you one thing. That looks like my sick when I've been on a night out. Love how it matches his tights and his boots though. Very nice. Would you like me to tailor your shirt there so we don't have to see your chest again? No, I think all the women around this arena might love the luxurious chest hair that I've been growing. <sighs> Looks like a bloody rug! I've got yeah, one more. A lot of girls like to lay on bearskin rugs, so. No comment. Yeah, he is, ladies and gentlemen. He's been re signed. We've got him. Nobody else has. Just us. Ready, here he comes! Come on! Oh my god, more bloody pyro! Apparently. Yeah! Oh, VD! I think that was just more lights blowing out here in this arena. Lovely! I love ECW! See? Gotta love Rob! Especially that yeah, yeah, got his chest. Gotta see. Nice to see he took right back Singlick for this match. He made it himself fit in it. Hopefully we'll see a more extreme Rob Van Dam than we did over in NSW Raw. Well, let's hope he does. Because coming up next, I it's love Don't Travis. Oh, thank God. I thought you were gonna say something else. We're gonna be taking off the air for this kid. And remember, if you've got an ape in DDT, hit that Y button for no MG moment. No Darren, oh. Young, no Darren Young's in this one. So, just to let everyone know, you've got to eliminate all the F people. And when you do, you are the new number one contender. Maz, who you got? I uh, don't know. I'm kind of looking either at Antonio Sanchez or Rob Van Dam to kind of pull out the victory in this one. Maz, thanks. Travis? Uh, first off, I think his name is Antoine because there's no uh, O at the end. Oh, God. Just give us who you want to win, will you? <laughs> but I think I'm going to go with Goldust. Ah, very nice. Well, there's only one person I'm going for, and that's Mr. ECW. RVD. Come on, Rob. Kick the living you-know-what out of them. Ah! Mr. Morrison going for some kendo sticks. He brought the toys. Yeah, it's what, like, oh, look at that. Hits the bizarre one right in the midsection. And now in the ass. Uh-oh. Someone's got a, a sledgehammer. And he's... he's just, able to wrestle ow. Away. This is what we like to see in ECW. Get the weapons out and hit the bloody shit out of people. As a gold dust right. is gone. Da. Goodbye. Get out. Your bloody ring end, which was longer than you were in the ring. Go back to the drum board. Two minutes. Go back to the drum board. Ah! It's a ladder! Wrong kind of match, but who cares? You can still do damage. 
Back breaker. OVD! Rolling Thunder! Bye bye, Morrison! Bye bye! What? Two. Oh no, kicks out! Kicks out at two and four hundredths! Sanchez looks like he's setting a letter up for something. Uh oh, bye bye, table! Oh, nice deck breaker. Morrison's had the shit beat out of him! One, two. Bye bye, one. Morrison! My god, this is gonna be a very short main event. Maybe we should put on normal next time. Oh! Uh, it is full counts anyway as well. Referee, get the end to your job! One, two, oh, three. bloody hell, yeah! yeah well, that's what you call short. RVD comes into ECW and surprises everyone and gets the victory tonight. Bloody hell. Wait to see him take on Jay Masters. Hopefully next week, it'll be a match longer than two minutes. Four men in. And just let everyone know, the three men that were piss poor in this one, now get, will face the beast. As the fourth man next week, RVD goes moves into the championship match. The other three stay in the number one contendership match. And uh, RVD wins, guys. Great win for him. Fantastic win. What did we just watch? I don't know. It's very short, whatever it was. We'll see the main event next week. Or in two weeks. Two weeks, unless we get a proper time slot. Your winner. RVD. Who booked this? Not me. You did. And that is it. Non-stop wrestling. ECW episode 2 is in the books. Thanks to me. Johnny, Joey Mild. Thanks to Maz. With our chest hair, Maz. You know what to say. See you next week, fans. Not next week. Two weeks. Botch. Two weeks. And also, Thomas Cover. Say goodbye. Bye. Also... You're never booking another one of these damn shows again. <laughs> damn it. Bye!